Hey everybody, I'm back with another Blender 2.8 video. It's been probably about five months, I think it was October, since I did my last Blender 2.8 video. And I figured I'd come here and uh, do an, uh, an update and see how the project's coming along. For those of you who didn't see the last video, I'll show you how to download it and uh, get started. So basically you'll go to blender.org, scroll down a little bit, and click the future Blender 2.8. It'll bring you to a screen where it shows you a lot of the cool features that they're working on in Blender 2.8. Scroll down a little bit. And right here it says try it for yourself. Click download Blender 2.8. But before you do that, take a look at these demo projects, which I'm gonna show you some of this today. Um, feel free to download these demo projects and load them up and see what you think. Uh, but anyway, let's click download Blender 2.8. At the top here, there's Blender 2.79 builds, which which are good, but you don't want those if you're trying to test 2.8. So scroll down to the bottom, and I downloaded the Windows 64-bit Blender 2.8 version, and I just copied and pasted that into a uh, folder. right here and let's give it a shot all right so this is your basic viewport it starts in the EV render mode which I believe feels a little bit smoother and faster than it did back in October when I last tested this out. If it's your first time using Blender 2.8, you'll notice uh, it's a little different. Uh, a lot of the controls are still the same. One main thing is at the top here, you can switch between your different render modes like EV, Clay, Cycles, Blender Render, or the game engine. Um, I haven't really liked the Clay Render. It was very clean. I can't wait till this becomes a lot more stable and I can use it in production so I can get nice Clay model, Clay Renders for my models. Um, cycles. This is kind of cool because it looks like you can actually edit in cycles mode now. Blender render. Everything seems to kind of disappear minus the vertices when I tap into edit mode, but anyway. And back to EV. I think most people will probably be using EV and um, Clay Render to work in the future with Blender. But anyway, let's try out some of these, um, these little demos that Blender has provided for us. So, I'll start with the Wasp Bot. This one I think is pretty new. I didn't see that there last time when I when I filmed the video. Look at that. So we're in uh, EV mode and that looks like a final render. It's really cool. See the clay render. I just think the clay renders look awesome. Blender render. Even the blender render looks good.
try I'll try one more because I, I covered a lot of these in my last video so I really like the Wanderer file so I'm gonna load that one up again and see how it runs in this later build of Blender 2.8 Alright, here we are, and this looks like a render also, just, even though it's real time, it just looks awesome. Um, let's see, I'm having some performance issues, oh, but it's set on all, yeah, all fast. This one's got a few layers. Let me try and change this. I think the clay render runs a little better, but, oh, there we go. That's, that's pretty nice. Switch back to Eevee. Let's try the turntable. So we're running a little slow on uh, on this one, but it looks magnificent. I'm sure in the final build, it's gonna be a lot smoother. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for this video for today. Like I said, you guys should definitely download this and play around with it. I wouldn't use it for production as it's not completely stable yet. And I think uh, not all of the features are complete yet, but I know I don't speak for myself when I say all of us are very, excited for the release of Blender 2.8. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.